Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. This is a pretty cool tutorial, and I know I haven't done any for a while, but I've been really, really booked in doing client work, teaching, and it's been a crazy, crazy summer doing graphics as well. So I want to make this tutorial, though, because I want to be consistent still in the teaching here on YouTube and Vimeo and whatnot. So I want to show you how to do a watermark in Final Cut Pro. This goes over either video or photos. Now, I'm doing a photo today of this cool picture of a caterpillar, and we can add watermark pretty simple, so I want to show you. Come into Effects. Down in your Video Generators tab, there's a folder called Boris. You're going to want to open that up, and there's a Title 3D, which you can drag in over your video. Okay, so now when you select it, come in your Controls, and hit this Title 3 Click for Options button and it's this gray one right here so when you hit that it opens up this new window where we're gonna edit all our text and make the effect happen so what we're gonna do is type in our text let's say we're gonna do copyright final cut king dot com you're going to for a copyright symbol hit option G okay there we go now when you edit text from here on out you need to make sure it's highlighted so highlight it with your mouse I'm gonna make it about let's go with 40 hit enter now I'm gonna change it to let's go with an aerial just regular aerial and this is good all these settings are fine now come down to your gradient tab which is the third one down your opacity is gonna be at 60 here and your bottom text you're going to select this box right here, which is your drop shadow. You can see when I unselect it, it turns all white. So make sure that's selected. You're going to hit your shadow distance at 2. So I type in 2, hit enter, and shadow opacity, turn that up to 100, which is all the way to its max, and shadow softness to 0. Okay, now this is good. Let's hit apply. Now you can see one thing happened is it doesn't look normal it's all gray and that's not quite the effect we want so what we're gonna do is do our last step right click on the title 3d come down to composite mode and hit overlay and now you can see what the overlay did is it makes it basically see-through with the texture of the text so now what we're gonna do is move the position if you come back in your controls tab you can come here position XY and we can drag it down to the lower right hand corner and there is our symbol and the text and it looks pretty good so that is how to do a watermark in Final Cut using Boris Boris has a lot of other good effects you can try your title crawl your vector shape I want to show you one other thing what you can do with this watermark when you open up your editing uh, platform you can come to style palette right here open that and you don't have to make this watermark every time you want to do it you can have it preset so I'm gonna add category and type watermark and I've already done it but if you type in watermark and hit OK it'll show up here and you can see I've already done it there it is watermark when I open that up I can drag that and use that right into Final Cut easily so that's pretty nice and that's how you use Boris in Final Cut to make a nice looking watermark. Check out FinalCutKing.com for more video tutorials. I also got some training. It's been taking forever to get done, but it's been done, and the publishers are just having some serious problems, but it's uh, it looks awesome, and it's coming out pretty soon, so I'll keep you guys updated. Talk to you later. Zach King, I'll see you guys later.